Hi everybody, welcome to my tier list of the best active internal manuals. Now first of all, what's an active internal manual? It's any internal manual on your character which stays running. You can have one active at a time and you can freely switch between them in your character menu. You can also do so in a fight. You can click on skill body and select the internal manual you'd like to switch to and you have switched to it. Now what's the point of learning internal manuals and having an active one? Any internal manual will grant its internal stats simply if it's learned. In this case 500 MP, 300 HP, 300 defense. However, only the active internal manual will grant its main internal effect. As such, this video mostly talks about the main internal effects of the manuals. Additionally, this video will not feature manuals I simply do not deem worthy of running, such as the Ancient Sage Poison Technique. Also, a disclaimer, this tier list is based on the highest difficulty, Free Mode 6090. This difficulty not only quadruples enemies HP, attack, defense and speed, but also grants enemies status immunity. However, anything which works on free mode 6090 will also work on lower difficulties. Now first up, we will get to honorable mentions. First of all, a manual I do not possess, hopefully editing man magic will solve it, the Dancing Garment Sutra. The issue with this manual and why it didn't cut my list is it on one hand requires allies and mostly buffs allies, however allies mostly suck. They are not worth running. Running solo on the other hand will grant you the lone wanderer trait, however it allows you to take advantage of this trait doubling your damage. The second now, where is it? Yeah, the second honorable mention is the Vairokana Solar Sutra. It mostly grants status immunity. It's only really helpful if certain enemies stack statuses on you. It's most likely seal. It's the most problematic one, such as from Chin Huizu. In other situations where enemies do not stack status effects on you, it is not worth running. Now I will talk about my top 6 active internal manuals. On rank 6 we have the Sunburning Sky Technique. It causes a, any critical you deal to also combo, if a combo is eligible. And if you are attacked and you parry the attack, you will counter attack. Now what is a combo? A combo is repeating the same move you just used at 50% strength. As such, typically you can see it as dealing 50% more damage. A counter is quite similar. A counter triggers when you parry and uses a random move of yours at 50% power. Now, regarding eligibility of combos, any combo that also crits cannot crit an additional combo. Also, ultimates cannot combo at all. Now, why is this technique or this manual so amazing? It's because of the Imperial Seal. The Imperial Seal causes all your attacks to crit, and as such, with the Sunburning Sky technique, will also combo. Additionally, any attack you receive will be parried, and as such, you will also counter attack. This amazing synergy between the Imperial Seal and the Sun Burning Sky Technique is why this is at rank 6. However, the Sun Burning Sky Technique loses a lot of value once you obtain the Way of Nature trait. The Way of Nature trait guarantees combo. As such, you only get the counter attack from this manual. Now, on rank 5, we have the Omnipotent Demon Sealing move. It has quite a long effect. To break it down, it increases your damage, 
by increasing the crit damage you deal and increasing the damage enemies take. It increases your defenses by increasing the parry damage reduction effect and making enemies around you deal less damage and reduces enemies action speed. So it's an all around good manual and really impactful if you want to chase the highest damage numbers. However, it is not all too reliable as enemies can still parry. If an enemy parries, your attack cannot crit. As such, the additional crit damage is in vain. Now we get to rank 4, the 9 provinces manual. After each action, you will recover 20% of your lost HP and MP. With the regenerative body trait, this is doubled to 40%. As such, you can imagine if you recover 40% of your health and MP after each action, you will not die if the enemy cannot one-shot you. Furthermore, with additional actions, such as from God of Gambling, if I can find it, there it is, the line God of Gambling, 100% chance to act again, causes you to get two actions per turn. As such, the 9 province manual will trigger twice, giving you a 64% lost HP heal. This is incredible in slightly tankier builds such as this build, it will make it nigh invincible. On rank 3, we have a similar manual, the Arc Demon Soul Eating Skill. If you've played any game where you can leech HP from enemies, this is exactly this manual. It causes 20% of the damage you deal to be converted into your own HP. Now this is also doubled with regenerative body. As such, if you deal 1000 damage, you would recover, in this case, 20%, so 200, then regenerative body doubles it, 400 HP. So as long as you have a high enough damage output, you can be at full health almost all of the time. Additionally, like the 9 provinces manual, this solves your MP issues. It is, as such, incredibly good for farming or doing quest lines with no major bosses. However, it can still be used in major boss fights, as you can simply recover all your lost HP and then defeat the enemy like that. Furthermore, it has a unique interaction with the Confucius Sect Master, allowing you to get plus two in all stats. As such, it's always worth having. On rank 2, we have my favorite manual, the Confucius 13 Sutras. I often call it 13 Sutras. It causes you to have guaranteed accuracy, enemies cannot parry your attack, you do not receive reflect damage when attacking, and you are immune to critical hits when being attacked. Now typically the last line immunity critical when being attacked is not that impactful as you typically run an imperial seal which prevents crits as you always parry attacks. Furthermore, the guaranteed accuracy is also not that impactful simply due to a lot of accuracy being available to the player you could reach 195% accuracy and as such almost always hit. But the really impactful things are immune to parry and reflect damage. If you have ever fought against the Taoist sect leader, you'll have noticed how much of an issue reflect is. This completely negates reflect. Additionally, enemies cannot parry your attacks. If you deal a critical damage, a critical hit, it will obviously deal more damage than if your hit gets parried. Typically, three to four times as much damage. Now, the Taoist leader and the Schiffer sect leader have a roughly 80% chance to parry, 
and as such equipping this manual will make the fights a lot cleaner and faster. As such it's my preferred manual to run. I've done a lot of showcases of this manual in my different runs. If you'd like you can check it out. Now we get to the rank 1 manual, which is the infinity manual. I personally really dislike this manual as it feels like a cheat skill. As if you open cheat engine, set your HP to maximum the whole time and then play the game like that. It grants 80% damage reduction if used well. Also can deal a lot of damage to the opponent. There is a kamikaze strategy which is viable with this manual. However, the downside is its requirement of maximum of 0 to 5 MP. Now, if you have enough game knowledge, this is not truly a downside. You could either use 20 achievement points to get Ravenous Reader and as such be able to equip this manual, or you could get punished in the tower sect and reduce your max HP to 1. You typically do it while at 100 MP, so you lose 99 and you can simply learn this manual. Now with the use of herbs you could farm, you could reach indefinitely high MP values and as such always take advantage of this manual. Now the only issue with this manual is you have to stand adjacent to the enemy. As such, if the enemy pushes you away from them or uses long range attacks, you could still take a lot of damage. But typically, this manual is so busted on its own, it can carry your own run. In fact, you can complete an absolute weakling challenge, which sets all your stats to 1 on the highest difficulty without even attacking. That's how stupid this manual is, and as such why I dislike it so much. I will not run this manual in any of my free mode 6090 runs on any other difficulties. It is simply not fun in my eyes. But for all the reasons I've mentioned, this has to be rank 1. It is not even worth a discussion, it is simply too strong and any other manual pales in comparison, so this has to be rank 1. And that was my best active manual, internal manual, tier list. Any other manual I have not mentioned is not worth running as your active internal manual. Perhaps you'd like to run something like the Tsunami manual, you can do so, however it is simply not worth doing. Hope you had a great day, perhaps subscribe, perhaps check out my 6090 guide and have a nice day.